What is fascinating about the brain is that the structural connectivity, the anatomy of our brains is pretty much similar across all of humanity. And similarly, the functional states, whether they're conscious states or unconscious states, are also pretty similar across all of us. In my thesis, um, what we're trying to do is trying to tackle this problem of trying to understand the different functional states of the brain and uh, the mechanisms that underlie them through um, some specific tools that uh, come all the way from network theory. With network, we mean any system, such as the brain, that can be represented as an ensemble of different agents that can be seen as nodes of a network that interact with each other, and the interactions of, among these nodes are the edges connecting them. But not only we want to study static networks, so just networks, but networks that can evolve in time. So the interactions connecting the different, and the edges, therefore, connecting the different nodes can actually change over time. And this is evolution of representation develops into uh, what we call a temporal network or dynamic network. There are several questions that one might ask. One, for example, could be what are the important nodes of this network? So if we were looking for important nodes, uh, we might ask ourselves the question, okay, so can we find different sort of behaviors of, of nodes? Maybe there are some nodes that uh, act throughout this um, evolution of this network, temporal network, act as uh, streamers of information, for example, to a vast crowd almost as if they were speakers in a parliament or something like that. And, uh, and maybe there are other nodes that are just like active listeners of a single interlocutor. The interesting fact is that actually different nodes in different states can have different behavior. So the, the same node in different states can have different behavior. So one node can be a very important node in one state and a less important node in another. And what's interesting is that throughout the evolution of, of this time-evolving network, the majority of nodes has been important at least once. So it's almost like a, a democracy of computation, information computation. Well, I'm a physicist, but I'm also a musician, a pianist, and I'm really fond of languages in general. And for this reason, one of the uh, most interesting research that we carried out throughout my thesis dealt with a language impairment in epileptic patient. And we managed to describe aphasia as a post-seizure symptom as the evolution of different states of a temporal network. Complex networks and, and complex systems are definitely interdisciplinary areas of research. I mean, network theory has been applied in social science, economics, ecology, uh, computer science, transportation, engineering, and so many other different fields. And th this is what actually gave us the chance to either devise new methods that then will also be used by people that actually study other kinds of networks. And at the same time, we could also use methods and tools coming from other disciplines and use them to study brain networks. And I think this is something really interesting, uh, a trace of a really open scientific community.